Alright, so Rhyme is voiced by someone called Zuri Washington. Nothing to do with Denzel Washington. But there's nothing absolutely wrong with her portrayal of Rhyme. It's just, I kind of figured for this miniseries, since it's a one-and-done thing, uh, I don't know, I kind of expected Rihanna. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. As disappointed as I was that Iona wasn't voiced by Sarah Wynn and half, you know, channeling that, you know, sharp teeth power look she's got, I the voice has grown on me. It's not bad. And Julia Grew does a good job. She kind of sounds like number three at times from KND. I'm doing a collab video with Not On Hall Academy! Okay, I posted a poll about this before, but I'm just gonna ask it point blank now. I don't get why they couldn't have both. And you just being in the specific one, like if you're in Scarlet, you get the Orange Dorm. If you're in Violet, you get the Purple Dorm. I mean, this is a situation where they really could have had their cake and eaten it too. Ready, set, go! First off, who's what's it? It's me, Ayano, your supercharged streamer! She's got lines down the block to taste a bite of her yummy treats! The owner of Patisserie So Fairy, Katie! Is it true he jumped off windmills? Burden Virtuoso himself, Gracias! You'll find him in Cascarafa! That's right, he's Kofu, the surging chef! Well, damn. I guess we gotta wait a little bit longer before we can get those official gym leader voices for Paldea. Here's hoping that Susan Patterson, uh, the voice of Haku from Naruto, gets the voice Grusha. And then the meme will be complete. Oh. By the way... I'm a boy. Eatery, a Pokémon League member for 25 years, it's Larry! Who is still the most droll, uninteresting, and boring gym leader ever. He has two league jobs, which means he should be rolling in it, yet he acts all depressed, and apparently he still needs to go to, like, some boring-ass office job? Like, I'm pretty sure you make bank just being one thing in the Pokémon League. Why are you so depressed? when you have two, and probably make more than most gym leaders, maybe even most champions combined. She's a lyrical VIP, the MC of RIP, a soulful rapper ready to take on the world, she's Rhyme! Who is essentially Rihanna with a bunch of undead dogs and just happens to be named after a World's Ends With You character, who also appeared in Kingdom Hearts. And now someone out there is drawing a Pokeball Keyblade. Even in Lavincia, her magical makeup ads are everywhere! Tulip! Which makes her slightly more interesting than Larry, but much like the other gym leaders in the base game, there's practically nothing we know about her. Nothing really that interesting that makes her stand apart. She's not even the first gym leader to be associated with a perfume line. Erica was in Kanto. While cool that this miniseries is essentially a prologue to the Scarlet Violet storyline, I question why we're getting this, like, at the end of Scarlet and Violet. Like, if they make more DLC, this could be retconned or whatever, but... It's weird that we're getting the prologue at the end of the ninth generation. I don't know, this feels like it should have came out, like, a little before Scarlet and Violet came out. Like a little tease of what's to come. Like what they did with uh, Dawn Fan and some Gen 2 Pokemon in the first couple of Pokemon movies.